This is China's Math Olympiad 2020. It's question 7, fill in the blank, which usually is a shorter problem. Now, in this trapezoid, we have BC equal twice of AD. You know, they're in the same direction. Notice that this is a vector. And also, we have another condition. For a point inside, you know, the shape here, I have a point P such that PA, PB, PC satisfy this equation here. Notice that there's 20, 20 in the equation. Now, what we need to find is the area of this triangle PAB triangle over the area ABCD. Why don't you try to solve it? And when you're done, let's continue. It's good to review the vector addition, what it means. Now here I have a diagram to illustrate you know, PA vector plus PC. Now, in this case, that would be the sum. Here, the sum is PA vector plus PC vector. Notice that uh, if I connect AC and choose a midpoint here, M is a midpoint here, notice that this is equal twice of PM. Okay? We're going to use this fact. Okay? Again, if you're not familiar with this, maybe you're going to review the definition of vector and vector addition. And here in this uh, parallelogram, um, you know, AC midpoint M, and I claim that PA plus PC is going to trace of PM. All right. So we're going to apply this in our problem. Here, A, B, C, D, notice that we have P, A. P is a point inside. And this vector addition, I claim that uh, the resulting vector is going to be this one. And here is a 2P, X. What is X? X is the midpoint of A, C. So X is the midpoint. of AC as a, as a nine segment, all right? Now, similarly, PB and PD, all right? So again, if the point here is, is P here, I claim that the addition is actually this vector here, all right? This vector is going to be twice, you know, the summation is going to be twice of PY. All right, so once we have that, we're going to apply to the problem equation. Remember, we have this equation here. Yeah, we have two equations. One is about the P. Now, we're going to plug in, you notice that PA and PC is equal to PX, right? 2PX. And here, PB plus PD equal 2PY and 2 cancels, right? So originally, we have a 2 factor here, but we we cancel. So we have this. So what is the meaning of this? Let's think about it. What this says is Px as a vector is equal negative 20, 20 Py. In other words, Px is just opposite direction of Py. So this just shows that P as a point must lie down on the nine segment of xy. So we have x we have y, which is a midpoint of AC and BD, right? So this equation tells us that P cannot be here, right? If it's here, then it's going to be in the opposite direction. So only way for them to be opposite direction, P must be in, within this nine segment here, right? And of course, um, this PY is very tiny, right? PX is, in, in terms of magnitude, is 20, 20 you know, bigger than that. So P is somewhere here, right? Very close to Y. That is what we know from the equation, all right? So when you plug in the numbers, we have these. Now, another condition, remember, we said that uh, BC as a vector is trace of AD, and we're working with the area of the shape. Notice that area is proportional to the size. So it is okay to assume for easier math, maybe the AD length to this would be four, okay? And then we're gonna make a few observations here. 
notice that x y is a midpoint you know if, when i do a midpoint you know from m to the other side of midpoint n and this line were cut you know with ac a diagonal line here and i claim that that must also be midpoint right so this is basic geometry you can prove that i'm not uh, do the proof here but let's take it as a as a known fact now with that since my in this triangle let's mark it out i have my here so my the length must be half of the base which is ad so this one must be one okay so similarly use a similar argument xn here you know is also the mid nine of the other triangle right of Yeah, so the length is also one. That's good. How about y x? Now notice that y, again the same argument in in this triangle here, right? I have a midline here. The base is four, so this must be two. The whole thing is two, so x y must be one, right? Because the other one is one. So here is okay so that's good so what we have is in this nine segment you know the whole thing is is two and the middle part is one okay so what do we get we get my equal yx nine segment length and equal xn so all equal to one all right so earlier we know that the magnitude of uh, px is this much bigger and the opposite direction so p is here right okay so p is over here okay let's let's uh, recap what we have so we claim that uh, and, you know this p is here yeah we claim if this is two this is four this is all one one here so earlier we showed that we showed that now this is one over 20 20 because the whole length is 20 is one and py is a smaller one this is uh so so this is p here I didn't mark here okay so what is a pm pm is equal to py yeah plus this is y is the midpoint here plus my yeah so equal one over 20 21 plus one so in other words, is twenty twenty two over twenty twenty one. That's going to be the PM. We got everything ready to find the final answer of the area. So let's do that. How do we calculate the areas? First of all, the tra trapezoid is easy. Let's assume the height is h here. Okay, the trapezoid here A B C D. The area is going to be one half of h times ad, which is two plus four, right? The base two and four, so that equal three h. Now, how about triangle? The triangle we're interested in is PAB, this one, right? So here I extend the line p and you know uh, over uh, this AQ line here. You notice there's a big triangle here yeah since this is a middle line here this is a middle here okay so I claim that the area we're looking for which is PAB so the area PAB is going to be half of the bigger triangle because this is a midpoint here right so half of the area of triangle ABQ yeah so what is ABQ here that's easy so this is half of base times height right so height is edge half of base is BQ but BQ is nothing but trice of MP you know trice of MP MP earlier we said that that's equal to 1 so 2 2 cancels what do we get? Oh, sorry, this is not a one. MP is is 
so, so more than one okay so this is uh, let's cross it out so this would equal half of h times 20 22 over 2021 20, you know this is b p and pm all right okay so we're done so in summary what do we have is that the triangle here you know is going to be have an area of here and this will be area the ratio the h would cancel when we do the ratio here one zero one one two zero two one divided by three h cancels okay that's good this is a multiple of three so this is three three seven over 2021 20, that is the ratio of the triangle versus the trapezoid okay so that's the conclusion that's the final answer and hope you follow the steps i really like this problem because the equation was given seems intimating but uh, when you go down and do some analysis of the vector relationship and it turns out to be a simple geometry problem all right so and hope you also like it and anyway and do uh, like share and subscribe to the channel thank you